Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube channel and today I got a very special treat for y'all. Let's get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited to share what I have in store for you. First and foremost, I want to introduce myself. My name is Vic. I'm 27 and you know I represent the District of Columbia. You know that's where I'm from. You feel me? But anyways, uh, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the chase. To the point um i've been getting a lot of questions about you know how i managed to get you know my concealed carry as well as legally own a firearm here in washington dc back then it was very difficult most people couldn't really get one but now it's much easier than most of you know we all pretty much think so let's go ahead and explain step by step the process the cost and how everything pretty much works. All right, let's get So first it. and foremost, the first step is to research, know the gun you want, go to the store and go on ahead and buy it. So the first and foremost is to know the caliber, know the size that you want, and it, that's very important. So the ones that I recommend for people that are just first starting out is either a nine millimeter or a 40 cal. So those are the two options. And guns vary from range to sizes and they have different price ranges depending on the one that you want or you know the brand. Um, some can range from 300 to five. Some can even range from 1,000 to $2,000. Um, the one that I picked out for, for my first one was a 43. So this one is gonna be like around like $600, you know, minimum for it. So uh, once you buy it, the um the store clerk is going to ship it out to the dc headquarters the dc police headquarters and uh they you right there you have to pay a 25 dollars shipping fee for them to, to ship it out to them um so just notate this that if you buy any new weapon from any store whether it's a private seller or even a you know direct seller you know out there they have to ship it out to the police department for you to pick it up and the DC police they run the background check and and everything else so in fact that's gonna be step two step two um, so you're gonna wait around one to two weeks for them to call you and then they're gonna go ahead and call you so that you can start your application process this is where you go on ahead and they will give you two options to either do the concealed carry or also if you want to just do it for home defense. I went on and had and applied for the concealed carry application. And as well, you know, they're going to do your background check. So how much is it going to cost for that? So the conceal is going to be $75 while the background check is going to be $35 where they do the fingerprints and everything. Notate this too, um, if you are considering to do concealed carry, you must complete a 16 hour to two hour firearm safety course with an actual certified MPD uh, instructor. You just have to do it. And on top of that, what they say is, you know, you have to bring your certificate in either when you get the gun or if you don't have it just yet you, you have to complete it within 45 days in order to finish the process so for the background check pretty much you guys pretty much get it you know you must be 21 years or older be a US citizen or a permanent residence that have not renounced their citizenship within the past five years have not been incarcerated drug offenses or dishonorably discharged by the military any of that sort of stuff failure to pay child support duis any of that stuff like and legally blind mental disorders or any any of that stuff so that's pretty much it how you clear the background check and how you you know finish out the first appointment so appointment number two so everything's cleared out there you're gonna wait in another seven to 14 days they're gonna hit you up saying 
okay, you, you know, now you're good to go. This is where you go on ahead and pick up your firearm. So, notate this too. Like, when you pick up your firearm, you do have to pay an additional $125 transfer fee so that they can release it to you. And you're going to get two things. The first one is, obviously, you know, your little strappy strap, strap, strap. And then the second part is, you know, your registration certificate. When you're transporting this, you're transporting your firearm and everything, you must have this in handy. If you do have your concealed carry as well, you have to have that and this, not one or the other, you do have to have both. So that's just how that's how it worked. So pretty much that's pretty much it. Also, what I'm going to do um, in this video as well is I'm also going to link um, any information as well as different classes that I've taken, you know, the information about that, you know, the firearm safety course. You know as well as you know legally carrying you know the firearm and all that information about the laws and regulations of the district of columbia is also going to be in the link in the description below so you could go on ahead and you know look that you know at your own discretion other than that guys you know i appreciate the love and the support you guys have been awesome you know like all these comments that have been going on anyways what I would just like to say is if you found this video informative, if you found some value into this video, you know, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, turn that notification bells on. I'm going to do my very best to upload, you know, new videos every single week. That way I could create more value for you guys and, you know, help, help me out too, you know, like, and I'll definitely also give you guys, you know, shout outs with each new video that I come out, you know, every single week. Also, if you want to go ahead and follow me on social media, it's also going to be in the uh, link in the description below. So, you know, I'm going to also have my Instagram as well as my Snapchat. So be sure to also go ahead and follow me on there as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and the support. You guys have been very awesome. You know, like my, my DMV friends and everything. You know, thank you, thank you so much. And, you know, like, I would not be here if it, if it wasn't for, for you all. And last thing I want to just say is, you know, stay tuned. You know, I'm going to keep you informed. And I'll see you in the next video.